that. Um, Say, bro, I have no serotonin today at all. No, what? Serotonin. Oh, uh-huh. you got no your happy yeah, 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 thing yeah. in your mind. Oh, we know. I don't have any of that today. I, I can tell. I don't know why. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's maybe the hat. It's restricting. Turn it backwards. Be a fuck boy for a second. Oh shit, he's doing it. My world. <laughs> <laughs> my world. <laughs> now that I'm standing here. <laughs> yeah. I feel so damn alone. Anyway, what'd you say? <clears throat> he's the last one quitting. Um, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Logically Podcast. This is episode three of season two. Last week we had C Dot and uh, last week, I'm Mo. What real. the what the fuck's going on, dude? Why are you? Oh. oh, what's going on? What are you doing? He doesn't respect us. Oh God! Oh wow! Your intro just put me to sleep. Oh my God! Not this so bad. Not this shit again. Oh, I wish I can take you. Instead of melatonin, <laughs> I could just sleep. <laughs> so let's let's hear your intro. That if you're so much better than me at the intro. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Logic. No, shut Park. the fuck up. Shut up. This is how you do an intro. Welcome to Logically Fucking Podcast, number one New England podcast based shit. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> Add more to it. Do it again. Number one New England based. Fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That was that was way better Shocking, than yours, wasn't it? I'm wide awake now. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Thank we're gonna, you guys. Thank we're, you. Gonna, we're gonna have to compare. So what have uh, what have you guys been doing this week? Anyway, what's good? What's new? Uh, fuck bitches get money. Gross. You know what I'm saying? Gross. Take a committee. Oh, actually. <laughs> What the fuck did Bro, you say? Bro, that's just a real fact of life, what man. Is, what, what's a real fact of life? You can get chlamydia with unprotected sex with women you don't know that well. Right? Hey, re- Joe, remember? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what's up? Um, You do know all my women are bots, right? I'm not going to let that go, you fuck. <laughs> I'm never going to let that go, you fuck. This has been such right. a weird start. This is a weird start, but I'm really you glad they were fuck. covering some stuff. You know, I've actually been thinking about that. Watched- I would love to get my beautiful brown tan hands around your neck. And, and do choke what? You. Oh, okay. Sexual release. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Bust all over your stomach. People usually pay whoa, a lot whoa, for stuff. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Yo. Come all over your back. Anyway, wow, what'd you say? You. I had a date the other night. How'd that go? Uh, Most Corner. Most Corner. We're back. Okay, um, we we're back. We're back. I had a, I actually had a few dates. But anyways, I'm going to talk. Up, so I was a good boy. Nothing happened. Right? I had a date. Mm-hmm. It was lovely. And obviously, I was a gentleman. I paid, you know what I'm saying? I made the reservations and everything, you know? We got Mexican food, my favorite, tacos. Diarrhea? Yeah. Real, for real. So yeah, actually, for sure. Did you get the poops? No. I, I get the poops bad. Did she get the poops? Why they you, stink. Wow, you know how to ruin a story, They smell you? so bad. It's gross. What do they smell like? Tortillas? Tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, bleep it! You, gotta you bleep ever, it. you ever? This is a real question. It's gonna be real gross, but I'm gonna ask it. Um, go. Everyone knows farts smell, right? Well, you love your own brew, right? Is it not? No, always. Is? Okay, so this is no. actually okay. So uh, check this out. Stop sighing, you whore! Oh, he's talking about his fart smell in a certain way. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually like real. Have you ever like had to take a shit so bad? <laughs> and then you fart, but it doesn't smell like a regular fart. Like it almost smells like actual poop. Have you ever been in that situation? Like it's like the hole's not there, and you just smell the stuff that is waiting to come out. Is that happened to you? <laughs> I just went so real, but it, it's it's you know I've, it's I, real. I've you heard smell that. you smell it almost what's smells about like, to happen. It's it, you smell. Yeah. It's almost like it doesn't come out with a fart smell. It comes out like it's already out of you. It's like George Revere running around saying the British are coming. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, serious question. Have you guys ever been in, have you guys ever been in this situation? I don't know. Have you ever had a fart that smelled like poop and not fart? 
Have you ever had a fart? Did I say that right? Did you ever have a fart that smelled like poop but not fart? I don't really know like the huge <laughs> difference. I can't like think mentally like, oh, does this fart smell like fart or is it just shit? <laughs> yeah, because I think the two are like pretty close, right? I've never thought of a fart I being know. like, oh, that's that's a fart, but this one that smells just. This like one shit. smells like it's already outside of me. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about. Have it's you had that happen to you? I mean, it happens all the time. You like where it time smells time. like. I, I just want to make sure I'm describing this right. Like it smells like your your poop you ever, is about to come out. Have you ever like pooped in a toilet, right? And no, then, and I, then, I don't then, poop in the toilet. And then you wipe a little bit, and then you poop more to the point where the poop's a little bit above the water. Does oh, you, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's your a fart, thing. Your, your farts ever smell like that? <laughs> <laughs> Most things. I mean, I've already come down this fucking rabbit hole with you once. So. <laughs> the water's just not covering it at that point. It's kind of like half out. Oh, I my usually, God. I use poopery. What is that? that? Or a poop bomb. Is what is that? Is that like, right. like a match or That's something? That's right, you fucking uncultured swine. What is it? I don't All know. right? It's a thing. It's like a tablet, right? Or like a spray thing, right? And you, it, it, Oh, you spray the, the, the bowl. Or you can throw this thing and you throw it into the bowl, right? <laughs> And it turns blue, but it, it gives off this beautiful aroma. If you like, it doesn't smell like poop. You shit too. That also takes care of the smell. You ever use man wipes? You ever have those? I've used man wipes before. By the way, the best clean. Oh, it's amazing. I it's agree. the best clean. Yo, you know what I don't believe in, but everyone says they're amazing. Bidets. I want to get a bidet I've in my house. I've never tried it. I've had offers, but I've never tried. Yeah, but how are you supposed Time to dry out. your ass? What the fuck do you mean you've had offers? Because I know people with them. Yeah, no, so I've, I've had the chance. I've some, been in a lot of some, houses that have them. Some bidets are seat warmers. By the way, during the winter time, it's a struggle. When you get on that cold seat, oh, dude! One time I, I oh, turned it on just so happy screen. we were on the poop conversation. I, I turned on I know, the fuck bidet my once. date. Right? <laughs> we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get to that. I turned on uh, the, this person's bidet once just to like check out the, you put the you, power. Well, yeah, you put your cheek on it. No, no, I was standing in front of it because I wanted to like see what's up with the spray, and I stood in front of it and turned it on and sprayed the whole front of me, bro. They really do. They, they have like they these, got some power. They have like these little boxes next to them that you can control the yeah. power that it hits your asshole. I, I know. I've I've used a bidet before. You've used oh, one. You've used one then. Yeah. What was your experience? It's it's a great experience. By the way, I hope you guys know this. All in like um, Middle Eastern countries, uh, a lot of the uh, Japanese, a lot of the uh, Chinese countries, all the Asian countries, Middle Eastern countries, yeah, even some European countries, wiping your butt is it's not a thing that people do. Did People the bidet, use, like, get you off? They use bidets, they use water, they use everything else. So do you do you still wipe your toilet paper after you use a bidet, or you just drip dry? Yeah. No, 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 yeah, no. no. Yeah. You have to wipe it off. You oh, have to wipe that's it. what I thought. It's, it's access water. That's why I was so confused. You don't want to have fucking wet butt. What if there was no. a fan inside of the toilet, too, that... Some of them... I dries think, your dude, asshole? Can you Holy imagine? shit, dude. That's amazing. Can you imagine? So good for the environment, too. It was really good. So good no for the waste environment. Uh, in your septic system. Well, there is waste. The water? No. Well, your shit. Your shit. But yeah. that's, that's biodegradable. But that's microbial. Yeah. You get taken so care of did you agree with... you? You've, it smells like the poop's above the water sometimes? Man, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. <laughs> I'm not going down this fucking rabbit hole with you anymore. These are important questions. They shape us as people. As people. You guys are dumb. You know that? I just can't believe I brought this up and you guys totally just hopped on board with it. I mean, what what else are we going to talk about? Uh, There's not a lot I wouldn't hop on board with. My terrible dates? <laughs> yeah, what's yeah, what, that? What yeah, happened? What's going Did you on get with the, the shits uh... or what? Oh, you fucking... <laughs> look at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right there, highness. I'll fucking get to it. Whoa. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm feeling a little feisty today. Um, Say, bro, I have no serotonin today at all. No what? Serotonin. Oh, uh-huh. you got no Your happy yeah, yeah, yeah. thing in your mind. Oh, we know. I don't have any of that today. I, I can tell. I don't know why. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's maybe the hat. Restrict. Turn it backwards. Be a fuck boy for a second. Oh, shit, uh, he's doing it. My world. <laughs> <laughs> my world. My world. <laughs> now that I'm standing here. <laughs> yeah. I feel so damn alone. Anyway, what'd you say? <clears throat> he's the last one quitting. That's um, right. <laughs> Always. Shit. Um, Should have so, quit back then. Shit. Yeah, so back to my day. So I uh, had a date. Um, hung out with this girl. So here's where'd you thing. hang out with her? Did you just go? Did you meet her there? Do you pick people up? No, on dates? no, 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 no. I, I stopped picking people up after some. You meet there people. then. I I meet them there. Mm. I meet them at the spot. I tell them which spot it is. I call the day before or the morning of it. But like, hey, I want to reserve a table for two. You know. So it's always a nice place, or sometimes you're. 
What, you think I take people to Applebee's? You fuck. Yeah, dude, but Applebee's but, is lit, dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah, come on. Al- I love Applebee's. Half up sizes. Five to know? nine. Yeah. yeah. Come on. No, nah, I don't do that. Um, I take them to places where I like to make a good first impression on dates, you know? Right? So I take them to like somewhere that's like not crazy expensive because I've been to crazy expensive like across the street and it cost me $200. I don't do that. Yeah. But I also don't go super cheap like Applebee's. I don't go to like, I go to like actual like restaurant, like, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere like I would like. I would like to eat. And I ask them, I'm like, would you like to eat here? They usually say, oh, yeah, I'm good with that. I'm like, all right, perfect. So let's make the reservation. Cool. I'm usually good with like a wait staff or whatever. Do you ever think that uh, you're setting the bar? You're not going to find the you're not going to find the right person. I feel like you're not if setting you set the, bar. the bar like that because you want them to like want to just be with you and not worried about. What the uh, I've always thought like that. I feel like, yeah, you take them to uh, you're not taking them to super nice places or super cheap, but I also feel like if you aren't just like yourself and go to like a place you would, and I guess these are the places you said you go, but anyways, most bougie, most, most bougie, bougie, but so if you were like a person that was just taking to like really expensive places off the bat, they might set that expectation of like, oh, this dude's taking me to these type places every time, you know? That's a it, really good conversation. That's a good point. Um, so I've I've learned. By the way, I live in I live in my own lane. I live within my own means. I know which lane I'm on. All right, I'm on the highway. Don't get me wrong. I'm on the highway, but I ain't the Lamborghini highway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm in the nice sports car. You know what I'm saying lane, but I'm not in like the Lamborghini Ferraris. I'm not there. Right? We're not gonna be spending a thousand dollars on a plate of food. We ain't gonna be doing that. It's like a Beamer. What you do next door? But I, I I do I do pretty well, but I don't I don't spend that much money. So what I do is I go somewhere that I know I can afford because obviously I'm gonna be paying. Here's the thing: nine out of ten times, your boys always paying, right? We we know guys that's all, pay. That's how we all. That's guys, how it usually guys is, yeah. always pay. Th- that's the standard, right? So now I get. Th- so here's the thing: if I'm paying, that I'm gonna pick a place that I want to eat. Well, Even yeah. if the conversation of the day's trash, I'm still gonna get good food, right? Yeah. That's on us to pick. So I know a bunch of places. I, I, you know, I try to go out and experience good places. Sometimes it doesn't always mean food. Sometimes I'd be like, hey, you know what? Let's go bowling. I mix yeah. it up. You know what I do? Let's go to round one. Let's go play some arcade games. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, that's what I'm talking about. I, I, you know I'm I've saying? been on multiple days. Uh, laser tag. Yeah. Beat I love your laser ass tag. in some Tekken. Oh, yeah. Street Fighter. That's right? my thing. I'd rather go on dates yeah, not that's not that like food related. I'd rather like take them out to do some fun. Some fun, right? Like yeah. it, when OOB is open, I'm like, hey, let's go mini golfing. You know, I mix yeah. it up. Yeah. I, here's the thing: I love food. You know, so I was like, hey, let's go to this place. She was obliged. We went. I knew I can afford it. It's not going to be a two hundred dollar plate or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, right, the yeah. most I might be spending is anywhere between seventy to a hundred dollars. I'm cool with that on a date. That includes food and drinks. That's normal. Yeah. I'm good. Food plus, and drinks, yeah. Plus a good tip. I tip real well. Yeah, so right? that's, that's pretty average. Yeah. So that's good. So we went. You know, we had a good time. Um, we met up there. Had a good time. Just, she was, like, I just, like, the conversation was mad dry. Mm. Uh, like one-sided? No, it wasn't one-sided. We had a conversation. It was a good conversation. We talked about our families and everything. But, like, you know how sometimes as a guy, you can just be like, ah, oh, man, this is not it. Yeah. It wasn't exciting. This is not it. It's not. It doesn't excite me. You know what I'm uh. saying? I wasn't feeling the conversation. We had a great date. I put a good first impression on her. I wasn't mm. a dick. I wasn't an asshole. I wasn't when was like, this? What day was this? I was like, this? yo, girl, you want to suck my dick after? I, wasn't, I didn't do any of that shit, yeah, right? Yeah. I just, even during texting. The only thing that I said that maybe would have been like, oh, oh shit, was like, maybe I can get a kiss. That's all I said. That's Did you get gentleman. the kiss? No. I what? Think, I think she wanted me to give her a kiss. I just wasn't feeling it. So I've come to the, oh. I come to a place in my life yeah. now, right? And it took me a long time. Thank you, therapy. Um, <laughs> where if I don't like a girl, but she likes me, I'm not obliged to bang that girl. No, definitely not. No, right, but back not. in the day when I knew for a fact, like I can tell, right? There's two types of girls. There's girls that you want to have fun with, and there's a girl that you want to marry and have kids with, right? You can tell. There's two types of girls: the girls that you you're gonna hook up with, but you know if she goes off and starts dating somebody else, you don't give a fuck. You're like ah, right, whatever, well, you move on. And there's right. the girl that you want to like. Nah, I want her to bear my genetic legacy. I want her to be the mother of my kids. Right? Mm. It took me a long time for me to realize the difference between both because what i would do like an idiot was 
I would meet a girl, she had a fat ass, especially white girls with fat asses. I would be like, I don't like her like that, but I'll still smash. And then oh, I'd be yeah. like, then I'd be like, why are they upset with me? I'd be like, no, stupid, because you're fucking leading him on down this fucking road that that, that you yeah. don't want. Yeah, because they they think oh like I'm gonna have sex with them and we're gonna have a relationship. And a relationship. So I'm like, no, stupid, don't do that. So yeah. now now if I don't feel it or if a girl doesn't give me like any type of uh reciprocation, if I'm like trying to flirt and she 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 just like no, I'm like, all right, cool. She don't feel me like that. Pull back. Don't don't don't. Well, engage. some girls might not be like trying to flirt so hard because maybe they are more interested in like a long term relationship and not trying to hook up. So that's you know, girls do I think, think girls get nervous too. Yeah. Speaking of the poop thing, I learned the other day that what? girls get nervous poops before dates. What? I mean, that makes. sense. I swear to God, I saw a post and then I saw a lot of comments about it. Apparently, girls get girls poop nervous poops. I. I I don't give a fuck if a girl fucking poops or anything like that. I don't want to know about it. Girls don't poop. All right, man. <laughs> That's all a right. I'm just kidding. All right, all right man. But like, right. it took me a long time to finally fucking figure that out. So this girl, I didn't kiss her because I didn't like her. I didn't feel anything. I thought you said you so asked her. I asked her on a date because I was trying to be a good guy. And the uh, thing is, you would have just kissed her if you wouldn't have needed to ask, you know. Would, exactly. It's a scary died. world. I feel like you have to ask these days. Oh, well, here's no. the thing. She was. Sta- feel it. She was May standing- I touch your shoulder? <laughs> May I please take a look at your ankle? <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got something with your ankle. Can I get that just off? Like, just like a fucking Cuban <laughs> missile. <Yeah>. Just- <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Nah, man. It just was. Uh, you, you can just tell. Yeah. And I can tell from like the beginning, from the get go. I'm just like, yo, I'm not. I'm not feeling this. I feel like. I feel like she wanted me to like kiss her because we had a conversation for like five ten minutes outside of her car but like i'm just like yeah i'm not feeling it but she was like oh yeah thank you for taking me out like next it's like that weird it's like that weird you're like the gray moment you don't know when to walk away or what you should do there's definitely like when you first meet someone you don't really know the vibes yet so you don't know if they do want to kiss or not Yes. Yeah. So, so, and if you don't like them that much, you're not going to take that leap of like, I'm just going to kiss them, and if they don't want to, I'm just going to feel that pain. The best part of the best part of meeting somebody is when you guys finally go through that awkward part of like, oh, should I kiss you? Can I touch you? Yeah, that's you shit finally, ruin, that shit ruins shit. But like when you finally get past, now. but here's the thing. But when you finally get past that, right? When you finally say, hey, fuck it, I. I am allowed to touch this person. This person is allowed to touch me. I can put my hand on her butt. I can give her a kiss if I wanted to. We are hooking up, and it's like the beginning of a relationship. That's like the best. That's like the most funnest. Oh, absolutely. When that because you're when still getting when you're over that bridge, dude. Where like when you're over that nervous realize, bridge. Yeah, when you realize like she touches you, you're allowed to touch her, and she's not like don't do that. That's I'm the in the fucking thing. promised land. Yep, that's what that's you what know. It is. It's like all right, all right. This chick might like me. She might like me a little bit. That's Enough, what I'm maybe I don't know. Sleep hey. with me. Maybe she wants to just kiss me. Who knows? Who knows? By the way, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but have you guys ever like matched with like a person that you're friends with on like Facebook or Instagram? On like Tinder? Yeah. Yeah. What 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 do you do? Do you just leave them in that fucking like No, you you send a message you're like ha 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 <laughs> that's, what, that's what you do that's what you do man there, there was uh there was one time long long time ago like probably like six seven years ago tinder was still a thing it was early when you're six feet tall yeah i was tall back then i don't know what happened Damn. but uh yeah i was fucking killing it uh no i went uh i don't remember where i went i was out of state though like far from maine okay far from home plug, plug. um and three times rewind. Sorry, different song, different song. That's coming. That's, that's gonna be coming soon. I'm gonna keep playing all your songs <laughs> in this episode. Um, no, you, but there was one. You time. icy? None. <laughs> Give me, come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Three was, plugs. I can't remember what it was, but I was like out of. I was out of uh, Maine. I was doing music or whatever. I was do. I can't remember exactly what I was doing. By the way, when are you not doing music? You're always doing music All the time All the time All the time I actually get jealous that you can do music and I can't It's the most stressful thing in the world Again, you're artistically talented in doing music and I'm not You're so artistically talented Artistically Artistically <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't I said, say that. I said, so artistically. I said artistically 
<laughs> no, you I said autistically. That. Nah, that's Aut- weird. You said autistically to no, the mic chip. Nah. The mic couldn't chip. <laughs> yeah. Was that You're a so Asperger talented? That was a jab. <laughs> just, what? That was a jab at you. I think it was. You just called me autistic. Artistic? I mean, <laughs> I can see it, but <laughs> <laughs> whoa, mo. No, Jeez. it's like the most stressful thing in the world because you're fight. All you do is you're like, there's, you can fight with a person and argue with a person about opinions on something, but you can't walk away from yourself. So if you're nonstop fucking arguing with yourself about if something's good or not, it's very stressful. That's so fucking deep. <sighs> that shit hard. That shit hot. That shit. Had. 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 H A A D. Had. Had. H A A H D. Oh, man. I love that shit. <laughs> that shit be popping, my that boy. Shit, yo, that shit be crack. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I was out of state, and I, I was this is back when I was like doing Tinder and shit. I don't really, I'm not really a strong believer of all that now, I guess. I think internet's just ruined the world. Uh, but I was outside. I remember where I was. I can't remember, but I was on Tinder. And you, you obviously, when you move with Tinder, you move like your Tinder updates to where you are. Location change. Yeah. And in the first 10 minutes, I fuck, it didn't match, but it popped up as someone that I knew from my hometown. Whoa. Liked you. No, no, I, I didn't click on it. I didn't click anything. I just like, it was, so it's just left or right, and it just popped. It's up. like you know you could swipe yes or no or whatever. I was like swiping or whatever out there. I was like whatever I'm out here in this state for a couple of days yeah. or whatever. Habitual swiper. Something. Yeah. And dude, she popped up, and I was like, what? Because I was like I said, I was nowhere close to. I don't remember how who said what to bring that topic up. Something along the lines of Matt. Oh, what you asked? I did. Yeah. Matching with someone that you're friends with on Facebook or something like or this. Instagram now. And you know this person too, really. And you and you were friends with her and her boyfriend. You were friends with her boyfriend. Oh, she she had a boyfriend at the time. She was on Tinder. Uh no, I don't think so. Ah, uh, maybe I don't remember. I mean, we don't have to put people. Well, we'll have to. Like we'll ta- I'll that's tell crazy. you about who that's it wild. is after. That's wild. But it was like really, really fucking weird. But that's what I was getting with that. You know what sucks is when you have a lot of family. Because, like, if you have cousins... Imagine stuff, matching think, with your sister or something. Well, that's the thing is, like, I when I send her, I just swipe out right and then just felter after. Wait. What? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is crazy. Hold on. I just say yes to everyone. <laughs> I have to sit up? <laughs> He's just dropping jewels and we ain't gonna pick it up? I'm sorry. Listen to so this you shit. just, like, swipe, swipe, right swipe, 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 swipe. Out, and then I filter at the end of the day. How many matches do you think you get a week in Tinder? Honestly, I don't, I don't if you do trying. that, I don't keep trying. No, I mean, do you get like one one match a day, two matches a day? Oh, at least two matches a day. But it's usually they're do you not have, my type. Do you have? <laughs> <laughs> do you have? Uh, do you have pictures of you on the podcast on your Tinder? No, I think maybe I do. Maybe I do. Have you talked to? Has anybody said anything to you about? The yeah, podcast? well, someone actually because it used to be in my bio about the. Yeah, podcast. Yeah, I was plugging the podcast on Tinder. No problem. Really, I don't. Oh well, I'm here to support everybody, Mo. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not giving you a hard time. I don't sure. have any kind of pictures about the podcast. No, I don't. I sent you one. You never I've... posted it. You, you did on Instagram. Oh, word! I sent you a picture. I was gonna say, but there's so many opportunities to get Mo like a picture of him with the mic and shit. Yeah, I have. So I literally have sent you one or two. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry. Kind of you're like, why'd you send me that? <laughs> I was like, because I figured you'd want a picture. Yeah. And Yo, you know what's the craziest? Like, like our friendship. By the way, I hope everybody knows. Like our friendship, like on camera, it's like that in real life. We like, have sex, mm. Cop- Cop- sex, copious amounts of nude sex, and it stinks like the poop above the water. <laughs> like, I want to just suck you right now. <laughs> you're not letting that drop. No, because sometimes, like, obviously, we obviously talk on the phone or whatever. Yeah. Or we, we text throughout the day, right? Mm. It's just whatever. Emojis. I talk to a mo a lot more than you now. Yeah, you're like distant. Distant. His okay. heart is guarded. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a cage, baby, and no one got the key. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, you don't have his love locked down. Come on, all these musical references today. I'm what on did you say that fire. What did you say that time? Love locked down. Uh, Kanye West. Jesus. I mean, Fucking if we're going to sit God, here and yeah. just do like musical references the whole time, like, Bro. We, we could do it. We started today. You and me were going off. Back on to that what you were duet. saying. No, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off it's there. It's all good. The plug thing, uh, plugging on Tinder. When I was when I moved down to Florida, I needed some, my, my side gig was I would Uber Eats. And when you take, you or ever order from Uber Eats and they can send you a message 
Um, I never have ordered from it. I use, either. I use door. I use door so this, I think it's the same thing. Like yes. they, like they take a picture and they put a little message like enjoy or yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever it is. I used to plug my fucking CJ Howie Instagram. That's sick. And then I got suspended on there for doing it. Mm. Somebody reported you? Somebody reported what me. What a fucking punk move. I know. It's like, like, hey. Who cares? I do this. To, I moved out here. I, it was like, I put like, I, I, I moved out here to follow my music and stuff. But just so you guys know, I, I, I didn't fail when I moved down there. It's just, it's almost, they're 10 years behind in Tampa for music. Remember when auto-tune music was huge? Hell yeah. Oh, T-Pain. Gotta love it. Not that kind of auto-tune music. Oh, I'm sorry. But like when every rapper was coming out with like auto-tune music. That's all it was. Uh, So it was like seven years ago. Okay. They're like still in that phase in Tampa. Really? Uh, Auto-tune music. Damn. I mean, it is what it is. It's embarrassing. It is what it is. I made friends with a lot of the people that make it, but it's embarrassing. Okay, so keep going. Shout out Famous Kid Break. Uh, Yeah, Famous Kid Break. I keep mixing it up. We're talking about fresh. Tinder, man. What are you doing? Yeah, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Tinder. Tinder. So you matched with this girl that was from your hometown, but yeah. you were all the way. Yeah, I didn't say anything. That was as far as that story goes. So I didn't say anything to her. So here's the thing. So for me, like I, I, I do pretty, I do decent. You can attest, mm-hmm. right? I do decent. I'm not the best looking guy, but I do decent. I oh. do all right. Wow. Oh. Bro, I'm average at best, and I know that, and I'm I not live in that lane. Tell him I'm I want okay you to go that. in depth about how beautiful you think he is. Oh, no, don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. All right, give me a moment. Oh, Jesus. Well, you know, Mo, when I you look need at you, this. I don't just I don't think need it. what I, I s- Mo, shh. Uh, I'm giving you nice shit right now, okay? Grow the me- fuck up, yeah. Mo. Go up. Okay, so listen. <laughs> Mo, when I look at you, I don't just see you. I see Mo. And mm-hmm. that's a lot. You know, that's a lot. It's a great thing. Okay. And your looks, right? Mm-hmm. Looks aren't that important, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. But you've got eyes. You got two eyes. You got two arms and legs. And a big dick. Yeah. To Jesus, you got that. We can't we can't attest to that. Yeah, you we don't know yet. yet. You, you haven't, haven't shown us. Out. Show us your penis. Is Mo. that coming today? Does that come on small, medium, or large, Mo? No, um, it comes on XL Magnums. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. I just wanted those to play jump rope. And even with, the, <laughs> even, even with the XL Magnums, I have to go. Jeez, how do you walk straight? That's fucked. Um, but no, I mean, I've seen way uglier guys than you. You're not that bad, man. Come on. I, I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you, Jesus man. Jesus Christ. But here's the thing. You're the, one that, <laughs> you're the one that got a message from your beautiful eyes. So. That's just my eye color, though. That chick doesn't even know me. I know she doesn't, which is hilarious because that's the same chick that I matched with on Tinder. I'm just like, you know, talking about, oh, that the girl that said something about that. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks are only seven fifty percent of it. I get it, but here's the thing, though. I I personally like if I match with somebody. So here's the thing: like way back in the day, we used to have a bigger friend group, right? Obviously, now I'm more about quality over quantity, right? When I used to have qua- quantity, not quality, I used to match with a lot of people. I used to sleep around. I used to be really, really bad in my mid twenties, like terrible bad. Yeah. Um, it's exhausting and, and I would hook up with people In so many different friend groups I just didn't give a fuck I just was hooking up with people And I would match with them on Tinder all the time Stuff like that Now I just don't even fucking message I don't message I mean like if I really find a girl very attractive And she has like a funny bio or something like that Then I'll message like 90% of the time On girls on Tinder And I'll have like 300 like matches I don't I don't message Yeah I just don't give a fuck For me, Because like- I know what's gonna happen Like you're just gonna ghost me Like 95% of the time When I talk to a girl It's cause they have like a ghost. million options at the same time which is fine any girl in the looking for a boyfriend stage is talking to like 25 dudes oh that's fact which is yeah. crazy because an average guy is talking to like one girl at a time maybe two if he's lucky yeah i like will do like a couple back and forths but if they're boring as shit i'll just go to them i don't like the <laughs> you ever i love your honesty that's holy true, shit man you, you guys obviously remember like the slide-ins where like it's like it's like they're trying to play hard to get on a text message when you're like hey with a smiley face like hey how are you or whatever. I don't. I don't. No, oh, like, but and oh. then they send back hi. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Like oh, they could be completely yeah. interested in you, but they want to act like they're not interested. No, like, that's a turn off that to me. Doesn't work. That's immediately like, all right, you're, I'm good, bro. Thank you so much for bringing that up. You're so welcome. I love your eyes. I am great scan. We shall um, touch hands. When a girl says, "Yo, <laughs> yeah. you know what's the number one? My pet peeve, my ick is." When I say, hey, how are you? How you doing? How's your day been, right? Yeah. I, I, I'm taking time to type that out. And when you put 
good and you with oh. an N, not even N. You can't oh. even spell it A N D, you fucks. And you put an N and you, I instantly unmatch, unfollow. I don't give a you fuck. You can unmatch on Tinder? Oh, absolutely. I unmatch so much. Oh, yeah. I I'll do, have like middle middle too. age women. I've had this middle age woman like a couple of weeks ago. I think I showed you. And she was just like, I want to be in the arms of a strong black man. And you know what I'm saying? It like, that was. Work to get to that. that <laughs> hilarious. Um, <laughs> but she was like in her 50s. And I was like, oh, are you looking for a relationship? And she was just like, yeah. But I'm like, but you're talking to me like you want to hook up, well, which is weird. I bet the mentality of a an older woman is a bit different. Like her saying that, their mentality isn't that. Okay, well, so she's talking to a younger person, but her mentality is that she isn't right. You know, she's used to these guys that are probably the same age. So like, being in someone's arm is not necessarily even a sexual thing. It's Do you think when like, she sees me, she's like like a cougar, like a leopard on a tree, and I'm just walking by like an she might just little want your, I think there's a lot boy. of midlife crises with that. I want to feel pretty, kind of. She wants yeah. your comfort. I have, and I'm not gonna. Look at this young guy who finds me attractive yeah, kind absolutely. of thing. I bet you guys go through the same thing, too. That's why I bought a sports car, so who knows? I've never, so, I've never had a, my thing up to that high. I'm not going but to... I would. Uh, I would. I'm not going to call this person out. I'm going to try to make it so it's not obvious. But someone who is friends with my mom, and I've told you about this. Oh, oh, shit. Someone who's friends with my mom, and the most... <sighs> I love this because I've had this happen to me too. She has been sliding in my DM for like two years. Oh, I know and it's getting about. worse and worse I know and exactly worse. Exactly who you're talking about? You know what I'm talking about? I think you showed me. This is like specifically. Like she's friends. Fr- it's like so weird. She's friends with your mom, or she's friends with. She's, she's friends with my mom, and she knew me when I was a baby. <laughs> and she's Sorry. trying to. And she has seen things of me when I was a baby. Man, she, yeah, now she wants to see what's changed. She <laughs> wants to know if the little boy grow up. Yeah, it's like it, it was like it it's was like really it was normal slide-ins. Is this a new porn category we just discovered? I don't fucking know. Ooh, it's like normal. It was like a it was like normal slide-ins, like no. supportive at first, and then it turned into this, and then all of a sudden it's like you're so sexy. This was all recently. The the sexy comment was recently, and I get them all. Time. Were you like replying? Is that do you think that's why she like? No, I replied in? like it was one of my mom's friends. What so, did you think that's why she kind of like kept going? She's like, oh, he will. He's do you want to see my tits? I don't, I don't Here's know. the thing, right? If a guy did this, would be considered grooming, right? Yes, oh, exactly. Robbing, robbing the cradle, robbing the cradle, mm. right? So it's funny that it's happened to you. So back in the day when I was growing up in KP. There was a Somali lady, and people used to say she was crazy, right? Somali lady. She had, like, three kids. She has, like, one son who was always bad and, like, two daughters that were, like, good girls, right? But, like, she just looked like a... To me, she just looked like a regular Somali mom. Yeah. Like, nothing I didn't, nothing about her just screamed she's crazy. Um, Every once in a while, like, the police would come because of her son would fucking, like, grab a knife and shit like that. Domestic. Domestic. Like, her son was fucking crazy. Um, then like, I don't remember, like, this was like probably like when I was like in college, right? This has been like, pff, I don't know, like 10, 15 years after the fact, like randomly on my gas station, I'm like putting, pumping gas in my car and she, she sees me and she's like, Oh, Hey, how you doing? I'm like, Hey, what's going on? Um, and then she was just like, Oh, you know, what are you doing? She's speaking to me in Somali. So everything that she's saying, nobody else can understand except oh. for me. This is at night, by the way, it's probably like like nine o'clock at night or something like that yeah, right yeah. and i'm like here pumping gas and i'm like it's sunday the walking dead's about to be on about to head over to my boy brad you know what i'm saying <laughs> right, right. i need to see what rick grime do. does just being a regular kid college kid whatever so i'm pumping gas so she's just talking, talking, talking. she's like oh you look you grew up da, 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 you got big da, 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 da. Oh. and she just goes right into it she goes well how behind a cough or bust to the ego tomorrow what does that mean? So that means she needs. She goes. I want somebody who can beat it up. Who can beat up my my pillows? No way! I swear to God. Damn. Yeah, she tried to take me back to her crib so she can get laid. She's Wait. probably in her forties at this point. How old are you? That's not bad. I was like twenty one or twenty. That ain't bad. That's bad. That's oh, not, think about uh, it, because she knew me when I was like. Oh no, it's bad in the situation of like she knows you personally like that. But if it was well, like a random when person, he was younger, she knew me when I was younger. No, no, no. But wouldn't that up. be considered grooming, or would that be considered like robbing the cradle? 
it would be robbing the cradle, but you know how many like, are, you know how many older women go after young men? It's, it's the the numbers is huge. I worked in a bar, so I know exactly what it was like because we had a, a, a thing called Ladies Night, there. and I'm telling you, all those rings at the end of the fucking night they came off with the quickness. Really, those wedding rings came off with the the quickness. The, the women took the rings off, or the oh, guys. Oh, oh, the the we had a thing called Ladies Night, so we had a yeah. lot of men who would they do still have Ladies Night. They would do sh- no, no, no. But this was a little bit more different than ladies' night. So me, me, and my buddy used to wear like just a vest, our dress pants and a vest, so you can literally see like our bodies, right? Mm. I've had women put money in my 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 pocket, grab my arms, put my hands, put my so grab disrespectful my, to you because I would exactly, you're not just an object. I'm not a piece you're of more meat. than that, Mo. You're I'm, more than that. I uh, I have a soul, right? Absolutely, I'm a person, uh, yeah. right? I have feelings. So I have feelings. <laughs> so they would order the drinks, and they'd be like, "And we had a hostess that was a girl, and at ladies' night she would get zero fucking tips. I'm talking about she would get nothing. We had male strippers. This is like literally male strippers. This is like middle aged women. A lot of middle aged white women came. They must have loved it. The, oh, oh my god, they loved the brothers. They loved the brothers. Well, can we bring up? We can't bring up. We can't. We can't do that. Don't do that. Ah! Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Can you try to like talk about it? I don't talking even know it? how I'd like <laughs> reciprocate it <laughs> in that way. But so so ladies would if if there was like uh. hashtag Me Too movement, oh, all those girls, all those girls are getting locked up. All those girls are doing predatory behaviors. All those older women are doing predatory. Dude, there's nothing like an like older this. woman, like, that, yeah. like an older woman who has wine breath, <laughs> trying to give you the fucking like playing 4D with your dick and trying to get you back home to her, uh, back to her car, your place, or and she, you can tell she has a wedding. You know how many women I'd be like, oh, you, you're married, and she's like, don't let this uh, wedding ring stop you. It can be a scary situation. I had, so many offers. Trust me, some of the offers I took, but I didn't give a fuck. A I don't give a fuck. I'm Good a for you, man. I'm a 23 year old bartender. You're a strong, in the independent ballpark. male. You can do whatever you want. Why'd you get out of bartending? There's so much money in that. Oh, uh, bro, I got out of bartending because the bar that I worked at was the Big Easy, and then it became Studio 55, right? Yeah, which and it totally switched up. So I, so um, the owners of Stick, the you yeah. know Sticks, right? Yeah. By the way, if you ever want, as a guy, if you ever wanted to have fun and get free drinks, you go to Sticks because it's a, people. It's a gay club. It's a gay club, but they would they, all the guys would buy you so much drinks. I'm very confident in my sexuality. I do not give a flying fuck. Yeah, I, I don't really care either. As long as they don't roof me. They had though. the cage. That's the thing. That is a thing somewhere down in Portland right now. Is there's like a gay bar where dudes are getting roofied. There's there's is Sticks closed now. Sticks closed. And it's Studio Fifty Five is run by the people who ran Sticks, right? Oh, uh, two of the owners. There used to be four owners. They got bought out. They they opened that spot. Yeah. And um, I started as a, a bouncer, and then I had so many women, again, not trying to toot my own horn, who would be like, oh, Mo's so attractive. You should go behind the bar. Then there's finally this girl who used to work at this hotel. I think I should have wifed her. I should have just fucking wifed her, and I didn't. Why? Because I was an idiot. Because she was 25, and I was 23. Oh, I was 24 and she was 26. I, was like, so ooh. wait, it was an age issue? There's a little age issue, right? What is that Are issue? Are you kidding let me? Let me tell you what happened. You're like me. So she was like, she was working at one of the biggest bars in downtown Portland, right? And she was also bartending at a, a, a hotel. So she was making all kinds of money, right? I had too much pride on like I don't want to be nobody's sugar baby. I ain't doing that none of that shit. She took me out to dinner one time in downtown Portland. She paid? And she, one of these, exp- bro, I was broke college student man i was working at sears bartending yeah had no count no all my money was going to my car my college tuition paying rent sometimes i would have noodles i was so fucking broke bro I fucking love ramen noodles was my thing in college I bro i was I so, ramen noodles every day so yeah. broke so this chick took me out right and took me out to this really fancy fucking place um and like was like hey you know i i can teach you how to bartend so i started bartending with her she started teaching me how to bartend so i can get a job and become a bartender right yeah and she would tell me, teach me like lemon drops you know what i'm saying like whiskey sours how to make all these easy super like you know like sex on the beach how to make all those drinks oh, right yeah. and she would like you know talk to me and then like i don't know what happened like one day she just looked at me she goes can you just fucking kiss me already and i was like oh okay 
Because I'm so oblivious sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So so Me then too, I so it. we started like like hooking up, but like I'm just like man, like this girl lives in downtown Portland in a really nice apartment, right? Yeah. She has a really nice car. She has See? all the things in the world. Yeah. What the fuck do I add? I'm just luggage. Oh, so you were thinking that you weren't good enough for this girl? Yes. You weren't. And she shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did you say you weren't? <laughs> you that weren't. is so funny. No, and, that and sucks, I just though. I felt like a piece of fucking luggage. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to be a burden on other people, right? I well, feel like it's a not big even just burden. that. It's like it's a, it's the ego thing. So like the last night's episode of the 70s show. I've been watching that again lately. I love that I show. I want to bring that back now. 90s show. I don't. I do I'm not excited for the, I'm excited for that. I don't that. want to see that. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna try it. But anyway, I was watching last night, and it was the episode where they all ha- took the SATs, and Eric Foreman was super upset yeah. about uh fucking doing worse than Donna, because he's the man, and that's uh, what man do. That's what he said. I mean, it's an ego thing. It is an ego thing. I I just was like, I'm struggling in life, and this girl's like succeeding in life. This girl. Makes you feel like less of a person. Dude, this... By the way, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This girl was platinum, blue eyes, oh my God. bombshell. Bo- like, straight gorgeous. Oh and she God. made the moves on me. Like, she was definitely, like... I wonder she if was the dominant ever- one in that relationship, if you ever ha- if you even call her a relationship. She was just like, she knew what she wants. She would go get it, and she did not give a flying fuck. Damn, she was, she, see, sometimes she was, didn't care if her poop was she, above the water. No. She didn't. She, she just said, off. close the door. <laughs> even... I can't stop just thinking close the about door. It. Bro, <laughs> damn, that's really too bad. You should have like just stayed with, you should have like let things play out. Regardless. You know, you know what you know when I finally like was just like <sighs> So there was like this one moment, like I was taking the elevator to go see her, right? It was like on a Sunday or something like that. Yeah, that's that's right. She lived in a high rise. I'd take an elevator to go see her. On the Lord's Day. On the Lord's Day, right? Mm. Um and she she just was like that girl that like, she doesn't have to have makeup on, but she yeah. just Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. She was cute, gorgeous. She just was perfect, right? And she opened the door and she had like a, just a over like just a long I think it was like a jersey or something like that cuz she was like, "Let's come come over. I'll make some food, dinner, cook for you. I know you, you know what I'm saying?" Like Jesus she knew Christ. my situation. I should have told her like, "I'm broke. I'm she, I'm out here trying to make it." Like you made it. She probably knew. She knew. And right. so you I remember don't... this girl's name? I can't tell you her name, but I know her name, but I can't tell you her name. <gasps> Just but give me the first letter. Starts with an L. So Larry. Louis yes. Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Mm. Mm. That's an exotic name. Gucci. Lama Palooza. Oh, Lolo Lamendra. Uh, Gu- Gucci, not an L. Gucci. Jimmy Jazz. Put it. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I remember, like, just like in the middle of the night, just not being able to sleep. <clears throat> Because again, in my own head, Shit. in my own head, just thinking. By the way, great time. Watch how to. She was just super chill. She was just super chill and honest. And I just couldn't get out of my own fucking head Should've because fucking I'm like, her. I can never provide this girl the type of life that she is a gonna expect from me, or she wants me to com- contribute to. Maybe she's Guess what? Doing though? It. Guess what? I <laughs> broke it off with her. Right, broke her out. I was just like, "Hey, look, I don't think this is working out." She it's fucking something. like very upset. She cried. I tried to be as nice as possible, but I didn't. Obviously, didn't tell her. But then one day, I just was like, "Look, can she goes?" She texted me. She goes, "I hope you're doing well." It was like Christmas or something like that. And she texted mm-hmm. me that. And I'm like, and I just kind of was like, "Hey, you know, I feel bad." Da, da da da. She goes, "Why don't you just meet me and we can discuss it?" So I finally told her that. <sighs> I told her the truth. I was like, "I don't feel like I'm adequate enough to be be with you." Nice. You know what I'm saying? And she goes, I she goes, I didn't give a fuck about your money. Yeah. I You didn't think that? Bro. I have, so I, stupid. I have always stupid. had like the thought mm-hmm. that like this is just like a thought I have. I've never like thought a girl that I'm talking to or I'm like seeing or whatever like wants to be with me because of my resources or what she just likes me as a person. Th- Anything now? I can contribute or add to her life is just like a con- now's different though. You can't like, think like I did Back in the day. Now it's a little bit more different. Now with social media, the way it's blowing up, I'm a little bit more reserved in how I spend my money on girls. Right? But when I was broke college kid, I had no concept of how money worked. You know what I'm saying? So when you get it, you spend it all? Back in the day, yeah. Dang. Yeah. Now I say for the future. Now I'm like, oh, now where I'm at, I'm on her level. Yeah. I get it. 
And I'm like, and that now when I date some girls, right? When I date girls that I find attractive or I want to be with, I don't give a fuck about the money that they fucking make. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you can go, you can stay home, Paul. I don't give a fuck. I about. would never like. Well, the thing is, no, I would not date a girl that's like not at all motivated in the sense never had a job or anything. I have obviously, yeah. but uh, I'm not For doing that sure. anymore. And so I I, I try to like shout I don't up. I don't care <laughs> shout out I don't <laughs> care like <laughs> if they don't have tons of money, but if they work at least, that's that's fine, you know. But also, if the girl's like gorgeous and we vibe, I don't really care at all. I do. Well, you're kind of a greedy slut, so they always <laughs> I, I, the, <laughs> they always personality is huge. Oh yeah, huge. Yeah, a guy can marry a girl yeah. who works at Hooters as long as she has great personality. What the hell's going on out there? What the hell? <laughs> that's, that's like your hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you want to wrap it up? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're doing a little bit shorter of an episode. We're playing a little bit of catch up this week. We're uh, we're shooting twice. We usually shoot once a week, um, but last episode was great, and we have. Um, I don't want to jinx it this time. Uh, we had to uh, reschedule somebody. You guys will see him next week. Um, but yeah, my serotonin is not here today. So, as you guys probably noticed, it's weird. I've been trying to like force myself to like use my brain. You sound like oh. death. Persona it's five. weird. I don't I know don't why. Like it. I woke up with no serotonin. It has you. I don't know what. I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're trying to say. Did you not wake up with happiness today? Is that what you're trying to say? This is why I didn't want to move back to Maine for sure. I mean, I'm happy. I'm fine with life. But like it's the Joe cloudy Ryan, days. I hate the cloudy days. It like takes all my serotonin and just throws it out the window. I have to masturbate twice as much on days like this. You have to what? Masturbate. Yeah. My penis is scabbing. Do you just... What is that? That's what you do with your penis. I, do, I just <laughs> what mo- the fuck? I move it around. That's like churning butter. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? But uh, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll make sure I have serotonin for the next one. Um, but yeah, big, big stuff coming. I really don't have much more to say than that. So we'll see you guys next week. Take it easy, y'all.